Now we have created the four servers for our deployment, we can go ahead and add the DNS entries that are necessary to get our site up and running. So we're going to log in to dnsmadeeasy.com. They have an API that allows us to register the IP addresses of servers when they launch, allowing us to use dynamic DNS. We're going to select the records link for the rightscaletraining.com domain and create two A records for our front end servers. I'm going to call them bulletin, but they can be called anything you like. The IP address to enter is the elastic IP created earlier. The elastic IP value can be found under clouds, region, elastic IPs. I'm going to deselect the dynamic DNS link. We have two front ends. As HA proxy is going to load balance these on a round robin basis. So when the user browses to bulletin.rightscaletraining.com, they will hit front end one. Then the next user will hit front end two. Then the third user will hit front end one again, etc. We'll add our second A record. Note, this has the same name as the first A record, but uses the second Elastic IP. And again, we'll deselect Dynamic DNS. Now for our MySQL servers. Our application is going to want to have a friendly host name to access for the database and not a dynamically changing IP. So we're going to give it a host name. We're going to use 1.2.3.4 as a placeholder IP address. And we're going to select the dynamic DNS link. When the server actually launches, the placeholder IP will get replaced with the actual server IP, so our application will use DNS to access the database. We'll do the same for the slave. Again, we'll use 1.2.3.4 as a placeholder IP. I will select the dynamic DNS checkbox. One last thing. We'll want to make a note of the dynamic DNS record IDs for the master and slave database entries, as we will need these later when configuring our inputs.